All right, so we're out here at a storage facility where the customer complains that the operator attempts to uh, to uh, run, but doesn't. This is an old CSW 200. Before you do any work on it, make sure you shut off the power here. It's already been shut off. I asked him, was the motor humming but not spinning? And they're like, yes. So that t typically tells me that the, the start capacitor on this half force horsepower motor here is bad. I've already checked the thermal breaker that's on the motor. It's not tripped. And then when it, we, we do attempt to uh, operate it, it, I'm getting the same symptom. It, it tries to spin the actual the motor, but then it just hums. So let's get this uh, capacitor cover off and put a new capacitor in there and see if it gets to running. So on the side of the motor, this motor is a, uh, a Q18 motor, Q018. The capacitor part number with the lift master is a Q02. Seven. Anyway, you've got two screws on either side of this capacitor cover that need to come off, and you can use either a Phillips or a flathead. I prefer a flathead on these. And even though the power is off, the capacitor could be still holding a charge, so you want to be careful about touching the connections that are about to be exposed. And I'll show you how to drain it just to, so you don't hurt yourself. Carefully expose that capacitor there. There we go. <clears throat> and you can literally, it doesn't hurt anything. But so in case the capacitor is still holding a charge, you can dissipate it with your screwdriver. You can literally just touch these these two connections together. It's dead. It's not holding anything. So then you can just pry the factory capacitor out of there. And then um, I like to use uh, a little flathead. I mean, uh, needle nose pliers or uh, something similar to pull these wire clips off. So let me grab a different tool. This capacitor is not polarity sensitive. It technically does not matter which side that you choose um, to hook your connections to. Just make sure that they're duplicated. So that's why I also encourage you only take one connection off at a time. So for right now, let's just take this one off. And go ahead and move it over to your new capacitor. Okay. Take the next connection off of this and out. And move it over to your new capacitor. Okay. So now both wires on the left hand side of this capacitor is on the left hand side of the new capacitor, right? Can't mix anything up that way. Technically, the wires are numbered. <clears throat> they're very difficult to see. So it should be two T2s and two T1s. As long as they're paired together, it doesn't matter. Um, but they're not always easy to see. So that's why I just very carefully move one wire at a time. That way it's difficult to make a mistake. All right, there we go. And so if you find that you have any connections that are kind of loose, like that one's loose. Okay, so that one too loose. Thermal expansion will cause these connectors to get a little loose. Just crimp them back down a little bit to make them a little tighter. There we go. And then you want to carefully reposition this back in the canister. Some have like a little plastic um, shield up against the, uh, the housing on one side. Well, the other side doesn't. Some don't. But you do want to be very careful about you put the base of the capacitor as far down as you can so that you don't possibly risk the wires ever shorting across the top of that metal canister. It stores an extra charge in it for whenever the motor uh, is asked to run and it gives it a little extra bump to get it spinning. And then after that, the electricity does all the work. All right, so that will come over here. We turn our machine back on. Okay, let's look on the switch. And we can test it here. There we go. Motor spinning. Before, all that we do was just quick kind of jerk and then hum. It would not get it spinning. So, success. And 
I have never really had the motor be the issue when this symptom arises, where it just hums and not move the gate. I've never had to actually replace the motor. Just need a new motor capacitor.